welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and today it is raining outside. I got my tea here. I got some new patterns and some new fabric and I'm actually going to show you how to make our newest Rooney clothing pattern and that is a lounge set and I'm really excited to show you how to make this. It's perfect for just lounging around the house but also wearing out and about. I'm actually wearing the pants right now. This is a simple project. So I'm just going to walk you through the entire pattern. You can grab the pattern at rooneyclothing.com and let's get started. Okay, first, let's talk about fabric. This is like a linen that I got at Blackbird Fabrics. Beautiful. The color is, I guess this is like a chartreuse. So that's what I'm going to be sewing with today. The good thing about this pattern is you can make it out of many different types of fabric. So this is like a bamboo cotton knit that I also got at Blackbird Fabrics. I wish you could feel this right now because it is so soft. When you pick out a fabric, just pick what's comfortable to you and in a color that you love. When you cut out your pattern from your fabric, you wanna make sure you're lining up the pattern parallel to the grain line. So this is the grain line right here. It's the manufactured edge. It's like a selvage edge that you'll just see on all new fabric that you buy. If you're using like a thrifted fabric, you'll be able to kind of stretch the fabric and see where the natural stretch is. And so you just want to line up your pattern according to the grain line so that your fabric is just flowing in a beautiful way. For this pattern, you can make it into pants or shorts. So for this video, I'm going to make the shorts version. Continue to cut out all of your pattern pieces according to the grain line and making sure they all fit well onto your fabric. Make sure you're changing out your bobbin and your thread. Make sure it's coordinating to your fabric. Unpin your front pant pieces and lay them out so they mirror each other, right sides facing up. Unpin your pocket lining and lay them on top of your front pant pieces, matching up the side seam notches. You'll pin this into place along the pocket edge. Your pocket should fit perfectly in the shape of your front pant legs. Sew your pocket onto your front pant leg at half an inch seam allowance. Repeat this for the other pant leg. Carefully clip about 3 8 of an inch into the V-shape at the top of the pocket pant seam. You'll press your seam to one side and flip the pocket over so you'll see your finished edge. For this project, you want to secure all of the side seams with zigzag shears, a zigzag stitch on your machine, or a serger preferably. Now lay your front pieces out in front of you, wrong sides up. You'll be able to see the pocket lining on top of the front pant pieces. Next, unpin your pocket bag. Place it on top of your other pant leg. Pin this in place and sew half an inch around the pocket. So your three layers that you've just sewn together don't shift around. Sew the side seam and the waist seam together at 1 4th inch. Next, lay your front pant pieces out right sides facing you. Unpin your back pant pieces and right sides together, lay your back pant pieces down on top of the corresponding front pant pieces. On either set, you'll want to match side seam notches together on your front and back pieces. Sew along the inseam and the outseam. Finish the seams in the technique of your choice. Turn one tube of the pant legs right side out. Then you're going to insert your right side out pant leg into the inside out pant leg, matching the notches on the fronts and the backs of the crotch seams. Pin your pant legs together at the crotch seams. It's going to make like a big U shape. Make sure the front waist edges, the front notches, the inseam lines, the back notches, and the back waist edges are lining up. Then sew together at half an inch. Turn your pants right side out. Make sure everything is good to go, and if so, you'll want to press the edge of your waist toward the inside of your pants at half an inch all the way around. 
then fold again and press with an iron your waist once more and you're going to sew your fold like a hem all the way around finish about two inches short and this will create an opening for the waistband now you'll want to insert your elastic into the waist with a safety pin hold on to one end and shimmy it all the way through the tube that you just made for the waistband and overlap and sew the elastic in place don't forget to finish off sewing the waistband of the two inches that you previously kept open. Finally, we're just going to hem the bottom edge of your pants. Press the edge of your hem toward the inside of your pants at a fourth inch. Then with this still folded, press your hem once more and press your hem once more half an inch all the way around. Sew this in place at three fourths of an inch and do the other pant leg. Now you have a finished pants or shorts. Unpin your front pieces and lay it out in front of you, right side of the fabric facing up. Unpin your back pieces and lay your two back pieces on top of your front piece so the right sides are facing together. Pin the front and back pieces together at the shoulder and sew at half an inch. Make sure you're using a zigzag stitch, shears, or a serger to prevent fraying. Lay your top in front of you, wrong side up, and pin the center back edges right sides together, matching up the notches. Pin this in place and sew together at half an inch. Unpin your neck binding. Sew the short edges of your neck binding together at half an inch. Match up all of the notches around the neckline and pin the rest of the binding into place. You might need to stretch it just a little bit to get it into place. Sew your binding at 1 4th inch all the way around. Press the binding that you had just sewn and then fold it wrong sides together one fourth inch and iron all the way around then follow up with folding it once more fourth of an inch and iron into place place some pins around the neck and sew at quarter of an inch now unpin your sleeves the side with the hill on it is the side that connects to the armhole of your top match the notch at the top of the hill with the shoulder seam and the notches on either side of the hill match them up to the front and back armholes. Sew at half an inch and you can finish this off with the technique of your choice. Press your new seams away from the sleeve. Right sides together, pin your front and back side seams together on both sides of your top. Match the corners of your sleeve edge, your armpit seam, and the corners at the bottom portion of your top. Sew at half an inch. Make sure you're finishing the seams with the technique that you've chosen. Press your new seam toward the back of your top. You'll want to press the bottom hem of your top up towards the wrong side of the fabric a fourth of an inch all the way around. And then you're going to fold it once more at half an inch and sew all the way around. Make it nice by pressing your new hem. Press the bottom of your sleeve up fourth of an inch and then once more half of an inch all the way around and sew. Now you'll want to press everything and your top is complete. That's all for it, the Ada Lounge set. I loved walking through this tutorial with you and I would love to see what you made. So you can tag me on Instagram at Rooney Clothing and comment below if you have any questions because I would love to walk through it with you. You can see all our patterns at RooneyClothing.com and don't forget to subscribe so you can see when our new tutorials come out. I'll see you next Monday.